So let's see how it's performed. Uh, the running position is not bad, actually it's nicer, it's larger, and I'm pedaling on the pedal assist level 1, and I'm going to change it to level 3 because to get to the top speed on throttle only or with the pedaling, you have to be at the level 3, because the throttle is depend on the pedal assist level. So if you pedal assist level 1, it will not go to the top speed, and then I will stop over here, as always, it's a little bit windy today. So, make change to pedal assist level 3, and I want to see how much watt power peak will pick up, right over here, you may be able to see it as well. I'll turn on the light, so it will be much brighter display, so you probably will see the speed as well on the camera. And I'll post uh, GPS speed on the left side. So, let's go. With a pedal first. Oh no, actually we start only. So it's already eight months now. 23 on GPS 24, 25, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Wow, 32, it's actually pretty good for this uh, short distance, but now I'm gonna go and test it with pedals and see how fast. Usually, uh, 1000 watt power motor, uh, it's uh, get about 30, 31 miles on this stretch, so it's a short stretch. I think this bike might go much faster if it's a longer stretch because it's accelerate a little bit slow, but 32 actually is pretty good for this a 750 watt motor uh, it's very good so let's go further and it's comfortable right as well so i'm gonna go with pedal assist now and see when i will feel the good pedaling oh it's a it wind 25 so 25 i'll start to feel the pe good pedaling and I'm not pedaling hard enough, or fast enough, which I can. But then I'm going to try to stop over here and check the brakes. Wow, it's actually braking really good. Uh, a little bit mark on the ground, but still really nice. I didn't reach the top speed with pedaling because I got the gloss pedaling after 25 miles an hour, which actually good enough and um, let's go for right and i'm gonna try later on in the next video most likely to do more speed test on longer stretch to see how fast you can get to the top speed so don't forget hit subscribe so you will see the full video so i'll go with pedal assist level one and See how comfortable you can pedal this bike. Actually, the, the position is good. I'm sitting right like in the middle of the seat. The seat is very soft and comfortable. It is very, very windy today. Probably about 25 miles per hour wind. With a much faster, probably gonna be later. So what I want to check to see how hard for me, 215 pounds, gonna be pedaling this bike without power at all so i'm on the speed number like speed right now about seven miles an hour and let's see oh wow it is hard to pedal this bike with no power so you would need to work out pretty well in order to pedal the bike and uh, but it's still pedable about nine miles an hour but it's not like through the bike you can feel like muscles start to work on it so i would not recommend actually you know, for somebody who wants to really exercise uh changing the gear i'm not sure if the gt v2 will come with seven speed or not but it sounds like uh, v2, uh gt version gonna be very similar to this one which we're gonna talk later let's go on throttle so yeah pedaling without power this is not most it's not really the best choice gonna be for me and i'm not really 
playing to pedal. I don't want to even pedal like this. I want just use the throttle. <laughs> it's an e-moped style bike, and it's it has about half seconds delay, maybe one second. One, yeah, about one second or maybe less delay in a throttle. When you push it, it takes about seconds to think about, and then. It's all about the programming and settings. I'm not really sure if they uh, give you the information how to change it, but some settings can be changed usually. With this uh, um, controller, usually you can. But from my experience, it's a pretty nice acceleration on this bike with my weight on it. And the motor is not that loud, either the wind. And now let's go and try the hill test. That's something more what I want to see, how fast you can climb the hill, the one I tested all the bikes before. It's very windy, so it's kind of dangerous to ride, actually, because we have trees falling, branches, and also the wind can blow me off the bike if it's on the higher speed. And also the wind can affect on the speed as well. So today the speed was 32 miles an hour on throttle only the top speed, but I would try next time as well and I'll post the video because I think this bike can go better. And I did change the settings to 40 miles an hour, 40 like, so when you put 40, it means unlimited. And I'm gonna use mostly Throttle over here. Wow, it's a it is windy today. Uh, I cannot go faster because the wind is blowing and I feel like it will swipe me off the bike. I can feel like it's moving me. Wow. Now we're very close to the hill. It's uh, very steep and long, and it's windy today. So, if you're gonna ask me if you hear any noises on the bike, no, I couldn't hear anything because it's very windy and loud. <laughs> and I use throttle mostly to ride for three miles. The bike is a lot of fun jump over the small gaps like and uh, it's uh, much softer than before the shock i can feel it's better the fork is the same as on gt was so there's no much difference at all but i like the fork it's good for this type of price range and bike so now we stop on the stop sign and let's see how far it'll go one two three go throttle only so JT, I think, was making about eight miles up to the hill. Now we're going about 70 miles. And now and see, well, now it's slowed down, 14 and 13, 12, 11, 10. So let's see, 10 miles an hour, nine miles an hour. So in this area, most bikes with 750 motor would either stop okay now it's about nine months now so it does actually doing pretty good compared to even 1000 motor um about oh now it's back to eight so far based on gps it's eight months now and i think it's exactly the same as the gt model i tested before up to the hill now but it still made it this is very important but Again, the speed was only 8 miles an hour. It's about the same as GT 750 motor with 48 volt system. So, there's no much difference in an uphill test, I guess. Still same powerful bike, but don't expect to be super powerful, I guess. It's still not thrown type of bicycle so the hill test was not as uh, i planned i thought it's gonna go faster so but it's still eight miles an hour it's uh, one of the fastest bike 
uh, compared to all other bikes I compared before with 1000 watt motors. The color actually is not completely black, it's more like sapphire black. As you can see, it's uh, more shiny, looks really good, better than just plain black. But this uh, swing arm, as you can see, like um, whatever they call it, it's a uh, made black and it looks amazing since it was very windy and it's still very windy i cannot hear any issue any brakes no squeaking i couldn't hear motor was very quiet because of windy probably but so far i like it it's a really nice soft ride the shock works really good and i'm gonna wrap it up this video because it's very windy and kind of too dangerous to go fast on this bike and probably will be hard to hear me anyways so please subscribe so you can see the following video once the weather gonna be better also as a review video because this one is just unboxing and few speed test and also the heel test so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video